this is Alicia McFarland. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a Stripe account and to follow the verification process to start accepting payments through Stripe. So let's get started. First thing you'll do is open up an internet browser tab, go to stripe.com and click on the create account button. That's going to open up a form where you can enter your email address, your full name, a strong password twice, check the I'm not a robot recaptcha box and wait for that green check mark to appear and then click on the create your stripe account button. This will open up a window that gives you a choice between developer integrations or pre-built solutions. I say skip both those options and go down to the bottom in the center and click on the skip for now option. This will open up your dashboard, so you literally have just created your Stripe account. But there's a few things you'll need to do before you can start using it in any viable way. The first step you'll do is activate your Stripe account by clicking on the Start button. This is going to open up a verification window saying that um, you need to verify your email. So go to the inbox of the email that you use to create the account and look for an email that says confirm your Stripe email address. If you don't see it, check your spam folder. If it's not there, click on the resend verification email button. This is what the email looks like. Go ahead and read through it and then click on the confirm email address. That will open up a new internet browser tab asking you to log in again to confirm your email. Your email address should it already appear in that first box. If it doesn't, go ahead and type it in and then type in your password and click on the confirm your email button. Yet again, you have to click on the I'm not a robot checkbox. Wait for the green check mark to appear and then you'll be redirected to the dashboard with a smaller window that's hovering over it saying that your email has been confirmed. Click on the close button in that smaller window to get rid of it and see your dashboard. And you guessed it, we're going to go right back to the start button to finish up, to actually start the activation process now that you've verified your email. So click on that start button again. And this is where it's going to start asking for a lot of details, but don't worry about it. All of this information is what's required for Stripe to comply with all of the requirements they have from their regulators and financial partners. So if you want to know more about that, you can take a look at their services agreement, assuming you're in the United States at stripe.com forward slash US forward slash legal. Since it's a lot of information, don't freak out if you get to a point where you're like, I don't know what that is, and you have to leave <laughs> and go find it. It will save your information and you can come back later to uh, complete the application and submit it. So let's get started on all the nitty gritty stuff. The first is business details. They want to know your business address, phone, what type of business it is, your EIN, EIN if you have it, have one, uh, website address, the industry you're in, a brief description of what your business does, and then finally, how long it typically takes to receive goods or services once your customers have purchased from you. Next is information about your business representative. So this is the individual who is opening the account on behalf of the business and they are legally bound by this. So make sure you are choosing the right person if it's not you. But for whomever it is, you need to enter their first and last names, their email address, phone number, date of birth, the last four digits of the social security number, their home address or the business address and their job title. They also want to know how your business uh, charges will appear on someone's credit card statement. So put in your business name for the statement descriptor and then a shortened version of that in case there's a character limit on a particular statement. And then your phone number and the address for your customer support. It can be the same as your business address, but if it is different, please toggle that and then enter the new address. Bank details, very important. Make sure you get your routing and account number correct. Otherwise, all the money coming in is going to go to the wrong place and it's going to be a major headache. So routing number and account number is usually found on a check or on a bank statement or you can contact your bank and get that information. Enter that. And then let them know how you want to uh, 
provides to two-step authentication. This is something that is required every time you log into your Stripe account. It's absolutely for your safety and protecting you, so don't be annoyed by this extra step. It's actually really, really good so that no one can get into your account unauthorized or use your account unauthorized. So if you want to get a text message, then click on that button. If you want to use the Google Authenticator app, you can use click that button. This is what will appear depending on which choice that you choose. So you either need to enter a mobile number or um, use the app to scan in that QR code. The final, final step, once you know you have all your information in there and you have confirmed that it's accurate, is to click on the Submit Application button. Once you've done that, 99.9% .9 of the time, you can now accept payments through Stripe. It's going to redirect you back to the dashboard. You're going to see a little green check in a circle that says, you are activated and you can now accept payments. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do with your Stripe account that I can go into later in different videos. But you are done, folks. I hope this video was helpful. This is Alicia McFarland signing off for now. Thanks for watching.